I will show you now how you can use text network analysis to enhance your research process. Let's say you want to learn something about plurality. You can click on the button here to import Google search results on this term and you will have them visualized as a graph where the words are the nodes in the graph and the co-occurrences of the words are the connections between them. You can click on plurality, remove it from the graph to see what are the most important terms and in which context they appear. So for example, if you click on candidate, election, vote, you can see the exact search result that contains all these words at the same time. And you can click on the link to see that page. You can see it's something about the election process, voting, plurality. Okay, so we can deselect these nodes and add a new node into the graph. If we add something at this point, we're creating a new graph on top of the existing one. So here we're saying that plurality is a concept often used in the election process. And if we click Save, it's going to be added on top of this graph, annotating the existing one. Here it is. Then if we select some other terms, for example, voting system and also plurality, we can perform a new Google search on these terms, a kind of more specific, and add them to the existing graph, add the search results to the graph, and see what new terms tend to come up in that context. Find something new. For example, here is a research paper on the subject of plurality and voting. We can select the excerpt we like and add it into the graph, annotating the existing one, adding it on top of what we already found. And then if we go to the original network graph, we will see all the notes and all the excerpts we added.